morning. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through a day in the life of an exclusive pumper. If you guys are new to my channel, I have started a series all about exclusively pumping. I am an exclusive pumper. I have a video. My The first video on this series was me explaining why I ex chose to exclusively pump. So I will make sure to leave that in the cards or in the description box below so you guys are able to see what um, my story is and why I decided to exclusively pump. So I decided to show you today what a typical day looks like. Not every day looks like this because sometimes I may have things going on or I may stay home all day or you know something comes up but I try to stay on top of my pumping as much as I can. So as you saw I did wake up around I woke up around 5.15, but it took me a little while to get going, so I didn't really get started until around 5.45, and I pumped for 30 minutes, which is when my pump completely shuts off. So, I will get into my pump later on in the video, but I did want to show you guys my morning pump. It is very important that you guys don't skip your middle of the night pumping. I've kind of slacked on that a little bit because my son Lucas started sleeping through the night so I kind of chose sleep over pumping but I am still able to pump what I need for him to eat. So before I even get started on this video I want to have a disclaimer. I want to give you guys a little disclaimer. I am not a lactation consultant. I am not a medical professional so make sure that you guys get any advice and any instructions from a lactation consultant. I'm just simply sharing what works for me and what I have been doing for exclusively pumping my son Luca. So I'm going to show you guys what I pumped this morning. I normally pump a little bit more. I'm very dehydrated today or yeah, I'm very dehydrated today. I haven't been drinking enough water and I will tell you that makes a huge impact on your pumping sessions. It makes a huge difference when you're hydrated and when you're dehydrated. So um, definitely keep that in mind. I wanted to update you guys earlier, but I had to get my older son ready for school. He just started first grade this week. So I'm going to show you guys my morning pump. Like I said, I normally get a little bit more. It looks like this time I got about 10 and a half ounces. I usually get about 15 ounces in the morning. And um, it looks like I got six, almost six ounces on the left side and four ounces on the right side. This is my slacker boob. I don't really get a lot of milk on this side. Um, I do have to ask a lactation consultant. Some of you guys suggested to power pump on this side. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I've power pumped before, but on both sides, I haven't power pumped my right side. So I'm definitely going to try that and let you guys know, maybe in a later video. And I like to use these big Dr. Brown bottles to pump early in the morning because that's when I get the most milk. And then later on, I'll just use the Medela bottles or put everything in a bag. So um, normally I like to store one bottle, at least one bottle, but I didn't really get enough this morning. So I can usually get about three meals, like I like to call them, uh, for my morning pumps. So I'm going to show you guys how I store my milk in the fridge. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I store my milk, but before I do that, actually, I have an app that I use to track how much I pump in a day. So it's actually called Pump Log. And you get a few entries for free, and then after that you do have to upgrade. I haven't had to upgrade yet because I always forget to put it in here. I'm trying to get better at logging how much I pump in a day. So you go here. I don't know if you guys could tell if you can see. Okay, so you go here and you add what time you pumped. And I pumped around 5.45 in the morning. And I pumped for... 30 minutes and my left side it looks like I got 175 milliliters I like to go by milliliters sometimes because it's just easy for me to track my right side got 130 milliliters so then I go to ounces and that comes out to 10 ounces 10.31 ounces and then you can ask it to remind you 
and then you can also do here go here if you're going to stash like if you're gonna stash it in the freezer or something so I am not going to stash any of this in the free in the freezer because I didn't pump enough if I would have pumped those extra five ounces that I'm missing I would definitely um, would have but not today but I will show you guys how I transfer my milk to the bottles or to the bags so Luca usually eats around four and a half ounces four four and a half ounces so I'm going to get this bottle right here the one with the four and a half ounces and grab one of the Medela bottles and put it in there And then grab a cap. And there you go. No! Six and a half ounces, guys. Well then, um, I guess I can't show you how I put things in the bags, but oh, that hurts. That hurts. But I'll show you guys in my next pump, which will be in about an hour. I'll show you how I pump and store. Seriously? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a good day going to be a good day so it is 9 29 a.m and i am about to pump right now but uh really quickly i wanted to show you guys the bottles that i'm going to pump into so i'm going to be pumping into these medela i've heard people say medela but i say medela i've always said medela i've always said medela so i don't know what the right way to pronounce this brand is but I pump in this right here and if you are someone that likes to pump into bags you can pump into the Medela bags like the pump and store bags you can get adapters for the bag and you hook this up to your um, I don't even know what they're called these little things right here and then you use these hooks right here to uh, attach to the bag and then you're pumping directly into the uh, bag so sorry i had to change my battery really quick but i am going to show you guys what pump i use and actually today i'm going to film a pumping essentials video so you guys will probably see that video before you see this video that way everything kind of makes sense um i will post that one first like i said so if anything i will upload that one tomorrow morning tomorrow's friday so you guys ask me a ton of questions about my pump and i can make a dedicated video about my pump if you guys want me to but the pump that i use is the spectra s1 there's an s2 which is the pink one and then there's the s1 the s1 which is this one is uh, a rechargeable pump meaning you can just charge it and then you can just walk around with it which oh my god let me tell you if you are an exclusive pumper this is a lifesaver i also have the medela uh, pump in style which was also covered by my insurance and the reason why i was able to get two pumps was because the first one was through my insurance through my job and once luca was born we switched over to my husband's insurance and i was able to get one through that insurance as well i just had to pay a little bit out of pocket for the spectra which is fine totally worth it worth every penny so i can go into more depth about my spectra and show you how to use it and all that stuff so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that you guys always dm me on instagram asking me about the pump so um, it seems like you guys are interested, but let me know here on YouTube if you are interested in seeing a fully dedicated video on my breast pump. And then I can also compare it to my Medela. And let me know if you guys want to see that in a separate video as well. So anyway, I'm going to pump. So today I went a little longer in between pumps just because I um, had to do some stuff around the house. And I still have 
to do some stuff so I could probably go and get that done right now especially since my pump is portable but kind of just want to relax and watch a little bit of TV because Luca's sleeping so I don't really get a lot of time to myself and I want to take this time which is the good thing about pumping is that you get 20 to 30 minutes to just sit down and you can use that as an excuse and say I can't get up right now <laughs> but um, anyway yeah I'm going to drink some water and watch some YouTube while I pump. Oh, and then also in my essentials video, I would have talked about my accessories. So the bra that I'm wearing right now to hold the pump in. Okay, so I've been pumping for 29 minutes and I have about 30 seconds left. So once it hits the 30 minute mark, the pump is just going to turn off on its own. Okay, so as you can tell... I didn't pump as much as the first pump. So this one is about two and a half ounces on my left side. And this is two ounces on my right side. So what I do is I combine these and this right here will be equivalent to one meal for him. So this is one meal. Okay, and before I forget, I am going to log this in, and I started around 9.30. I'm just going to say 9.30 when I started. And you can also set this app for it to remind you. This is not sponsored, by the way. It's not sponsored at all. Um, this is just what I found from watching a lot of, um, you know, videos and reading things. So, let's. we're going to say two ounces for the right side. And we're gonna say two and a half, two point five for the left. So that came out to four and a half ounces, and I'm going to save that. So I just like the Lancino betters because I, I just feel like they're a little bit more true when it comes to the volume than the Medela ones, and they're just they do a better job at laying flat on the in the freezer when I whenever I do stash. But let me show you guys how I um, add or how I pour my milk in here. So I'm going to use the flange as a funnel, that way I don't spill anything, and I just go like this and just pour. Just make sure to secure it tight. This is going in the fridge, I'm not going to put this in the freezer, but if it was going in the freezer, I would make sure to seal this really tight and make sure that I find a way to make it flat. And before pouring the milk in there, I would have written down with a Sharpie the time and date and the volume that is in here. Because even though it says right here five ounces, you guys saw that I, I pumped four and a half ounces, not five ounces. So it's not really accurate. The Medela ones aren't really as accurate when it comes to the the volume that is in here. So that is why I personally like the Lanzano better because I feel like they're more accurate. Okay. But so just finished pumping and I was able to get two and a half ounces on my left and two ounces on my right. So that's gonna make four and a half ounces and I'm just going to store this in the fridge and there's dinner for Luca. And the way I store it in my fridge is I put the oldest ones in the front and the newest ones just go behind. So this is gonna be the next one we're going to use, then that one and then that one. And this is how my freezer one is. So I only have three in here because I don't really, I haven't really been storing. I just started storing and just, just for my peace of mind, I guess. Hey guys, so it's around uh, 345 and my son just got home from school I just got back from the store to I had to stop by Target to get some groceries for dinner tonight and then I had to go to Party City because tomorrow's my son's birthday and I'm gonna take cupcakes for his class and I wanted to get like Black Panther stuff for him because he's obsessed with Black Panther so I also grabbed myself a coffee because I am 
struggling today. And I got myself the a grande salted cold cream, cold brew, cold foam. <laughs> I don't, it's a long name. I don't know what it is, but it's. I think it's the salted cold foam cream cold brew. Something like that. So I'm about to pump and hang out with my son for a little bit and then go and film because I really want to get that video up. You guys, this was a little bit of a disappointing session. This side, the left side only got about two ounces and the right side looks like I was only able to get an ounce and a half, so almost two ounces. So I'm gonna log that in and see how much I got. Hey guys, so it's been a little over two and a half hours since my last pump and right now I am pumping and editing. My husband got home a little while ago so he's taking care of Luca while I edit tomorrow's video which you guys will have seen that video before you see this one. Multitasking is something that I've actually had to really master with being an exclusive pumper because you really do have to learn how to do things that you would normally do when you're not pumping. So some, sometimes it gets a little bit hard like to pick up Luca because then he gets all tied up with the cords. Like earlier today, he kicked the cord, one of the cords and, or the tubing, and um, I almost spilled my milk. So it's, it, it, it has its challenges. And as you can tell, my whole day pretty much consists of pumping, but it's worth it in my opinion, I think this is just what's worked out for our family. So right now it's almost eight o'clock and I probably have one or two more pumps before I go to bed just to end today's um, pumping day. So once I finish pumping this, I will show you guys how much I pumped and then towards the end of the night or the video, I will show you guys the total of um, what I pumped for the day. So I just finished pumping and it looks like I got about five ounces all together. So making progress, <laughs> doing a lot better than I was earlier. I ate and I drank a lot of water so that definitely helped. I got these milk savers in the mail today and I'm going to wear them in between pumps and see how much extra milk I can collect. So I'm going to wear them for about two hours and then I'll let you guys know how I like them. Hey guys. So it's almost midnight, it's 11 p.m. and I just finished pumping. I've been distracted with editing and just doing things around the house and I took off my gel nail polish so I've been a little bit uh, busy so I haven't really been updating you guys but um, I have pumped and it looks like I got two ounces on my right side and Three, almost three ounces on my left side so I was able to get five ounces which is good especially for it being this late because usually around this time my supply really goes down because I have less milk at the end of the day so after the last pump of the day what I do is I put this in the refrigerator and then I go and wash my parts I completely take everything apart so I take the membranes off and the valves and I wash them with my dish soap and my little brushes which I have to get they're in my room it's just that I was filming a video so I was showing those to you guys and then I charge my pump and then I also sanitize my parts as well so that they are good to go and ready in the morning but before I do anything else I want to tell you guys about this channel that has helped me I have done a lot of research when it comes to exclusively pumping I have read articles I have gone on Pinterest Facebook Instagram YouTube I uh, kellymom.com has been amazing I highly recommend that you guys check out that website it will answer all of your questions whether it's about drinking wine while you're breastfeeding exclusively pumping all of these different answers you can find there and also this uh, channel called mama alia I believe I will leave everything linked down below because um, those 
two sources that I just told you about have helped me out so much. A lot of the knowledge that I have now is because of those two things. So I cannot take credit for anything. Um, I mean, some of it, yes, it's trial and error, but a lot of things they have helped me through. So anyway, I just thought I'd share those with you guys. And I'm still going to keep doing, you know, the exclusively pumping series, obviously, with my own experiences and things that I've learned, whether it's from that channel or from kellymom.com. So you guys um, can also hear it from me if you guys wanted to. So I pumped a total of 33.4 ounces. I pumped a total of six times and 180 minutes. So my lowest pump was today at around four o'clock. This, the time isn't really accurate because I like to go um, at the time that I end, not necessarily at the time that I start. That's when I start timing when I should pump next. So let's say I, start, I stopped pumping at 4.30 p.m. I won't pump till either 6.30 or 7.30 p.m. So I don't necessarily go by the starting time, I go by the end time because sometimes I can pump for an hour if I want to in the mornings. So that's what I go based on, not necessarily what time I start. So I'm just going to end the vlog right here. I am so tired and I really want to get this video up and finish. It's already uploaded. I'm just adding a few minute touches to it so it could go live tomorrow morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this day in the life video. It's a little bit different from what I normally do. Let me know if you guys want to see more because I definitely can. I can show you how I pump when I'm out and about or if I'm home like the whole day. Um, I can definitely incorporate a lot of those videos in my channel. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. And also if you are a subscriber, make sure that you double check that you are subscribed before you leave and that your notifications are on so you never miss a video. Make sure you're also following me over on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.